My name's Chad Briggs and I'm um, an Indigenous artist. Uh, my father's Aboriginal uh, from Western Australia, which means he's a Noongar man, and my mother's uh, from uh, Mural Lake Island, which is uh, Torres Strait. So, like, I've always loved doing art. Um, I remember when I was about five or six drawing emus and palm trees and things like this. So when I started, um, I was quite good at art at school. Then I thought, well, I could uh, turn this into, a, in, into, into my job. I'm a contemporary artist, um, so I was never taught by the elders on um, a lot of the different sort of structured ways that they paint. Um, so I don't call myself a traditional artist. So being a contemporary artist, I actually use, it's really cool because I do um, Torres Strait and Aboriginal, I try and fuse both of them together. With, with the artwork behind me, um, we've got both sides, we've got the Torres Strait um, and we've got the Aboriginal um, and like I said, with the contemporary artwork, I've introduced a lot of um, contemporary colours that you don't usually see in Indigenous artwork. From the start to the finish, the process was sitting down and talking about what sort of idea. So we came up with uh, the past, present and future. Uh, and then um, the actual process of painting, uh, I was pretty much painting every day, all day, and that probably took about three weeks to do. In most of the uh, Welcome to Countries, it's always talking about the past, present and future when we honour the, um, the Indigenous people. So I thought I wanted to incorporate that into the painting and we want to uh, work with um, a central idea and then, then spread out from that. In a nutshell, with, with the artwork itself, um, we do have the past, the first borer, which is the ring. Um, that first one is the beginning um, of CPL and it's in the Torres Strait ideal as well. With the second one we, we have, it actually shows all, all the dots of all the different clans, indigenous clans that use CPL. So um, with CPL as a central um, idea, it shows the actual campsites in the areas where indigenous communities um, and their use of CPL. And on, on the last one, which is the uh, future, it actually just shows what our CPL is actually looking going forward to, to become. It actually shows more footprints, uh, more people working together, uh, more staff and, and the way that it spreads out. It's actually got a, a Boab tree, which is the tree of life, and it shows strength and stability. The, dot, the dotted background represents all of the people, that the services that the CPL group use. Um, the, and it shows the connectivity between all the groups as well, how they're actually all connected together. Even though you might get one group here and one group on the opposite side, through the dot work they're actually all connected. With the Reconciliation Action Plan, I think it's, it's a massive step for companies um, and a wrap is basically inclusive of everyone and sets all the different uh, guidelines and, and sets the aim that the, the company wants to go towards. When I started art, I didn't actually think here in the, in the 2000s that it would be used a lot more to, to grow the, the relationship between basically the Indigenous culture and, and everybody else. So it's, it's quite amazing that my artwork can help link in together uh, different cultures. I'm very happy with this piece, yes. Uh, it, uh, it took a long time to do, but I'm really happy with the outcome.